The difference between investment and casual money spending is the expectation of the higher return on that down payment. When you buy a television or flight ticket to Malaysia, you cannot measure the return on that money, but every dollar spent in the corporate world is a responsibility towards the shareholders, and we need to pick the most profitable investment decisions with the aim to grow the business value on the long term. That's why we will learn today about discount cash flow and net present value to compare between investment options. Let's say your company produces $10 million in revenues from dark chocolate each year. And you get two suggestions on the table from two managers. The first one is to automate the production line to produce more, while the second one is about introducing a new dark chocolate product with cannabis after legalizing it. So which decision would you take? Let's take a deeper look at the future cash flows that our managers have estimated over the next 10 years. The automation process requires $2 million investment on machine purchasing, installation and employee training. By the second year, the production revenues will raise by 5%, which are $500,000. To nail the chocolate taste with cannabis and put it on the market, the company needs at least 3 years with estimated outflows of 200k per year and after that the production will grow by 150k each year and the market demand will increase by 10% every year. If we discount those out and inflows to the present with a discount rate of 6% using the money present value formula from the last video, we will get the following results. And to compute the net present value, we just need to sum up all those values. So project two would be more profitable because of the greater net present value. Well, those numbers are just supporting our decision-making process and we can play with them and be more creative to come up with new options. For example, you can calculate the net present value over the next 15 years instead of 10 years. So let's extend our table width to 15 columns and keep the same conditions with half million dollars per year for the project one and 10% growth rate for project two. As you see, project one now becomes more advantageous. Another option would be to start by automating first the production line and then by the third year, when you've already generated extra half million per year revenues, you invest in the new product of chocolate with cannabis. After calculating the sum of the cash flows and discounting them to the present and summing up those discount cash flows, we see that the third option of combined project one and two is the most profitable over the next 10 years than each project separately. This is the power of numbers combined with our creativity. Discount cash flow and net present value are neutral financial indicators that can be used to simulate several scenarios using simple tools like Microsoft Excel. So don't hesitate to try different budgets and timings to expand your options and take the most suitable financial decision for your business and your shareholders. Don't forget to be inventive and innovative. I wish you well. This is Walid. Ciao.